In today's episode, I'm going to talk about the uh, commando mode, the hackathon uh, mode. Whenever you are a startup and you want to uh, launch a product and you have just a few days before the launch or just a few days before um, having tons of clients or a, a specific deadline, maybe launching some features, then you need to organize your team, your development team, uh, in order to be sure to meet your deadlines. And that's what I'm going to talk about in today's episode. Hi, everyone. So I just wrapped up a, a meeting with a startup that I coach um, for the past few years. Um, and they are, they are a team of five engineers. They are working very hard on a, a due deadline by the end of the week. And, um, and they were kind of stressed uh, because uh, of all the things they have to do, etc. They are not sure to meet all that deadline. And um, and I wanted to come back on what's the organization and what can you do as a CEO to be sure that your team is uh, focused on what they have to achieve. So the uh, first things know that uh, it's, it's way better to be all in the same place. Uh, of course, we can work remotely, etc. But when you have a tight deadline, it can be a very good opportunity to meet all together and maybe in a big room, uh, bringing all your computer, even if you, usually you have your uh, own office. Maybe for that time, you could take the meeting, the big meeting room of the company and uh, organize and work all together in the same place so that we can just talk right away uh, and uh, and be eff efficient. We don't need uh, any meeting. Uh, if they are tiny, tiny meeting, they should be very, very limited, like 15 minute tops uh, and really focus on what we have to achieve. Um, for the CEO as well, I invite you to uh, bring Everything that is required for a human being, I mean, foods, um, I don't know, fruits, candies, anything that can provide energy, uh, as well as a good spirit during the, the week. That could be a very, very good thing as well uh, um, to, uh, to be sure to meet the deadline. Um, and last but not least, what's the methodology to organize all the to-dos uh, that your team has to get done? So... Um, I guess that if you have just a few days left before the deadline, everyone in the team should know already what they have to do. And what is important is to be, to keep track on that. And the best way is to have a big whiteboard. You use a whiteboard and on that whiteboard, you just draw all the days that you have, like a calendar and, <clears throat> and you create, you create some two hours, um, blocks. So two hours blocks, you can put three or four a day and you invite everyone in the team to put uh, their name following by what they have to do in each box so that you are sure that every two hours, you double check that every two hours, everyone check in and say, yeah, this is done. This is done. And they can check, check, check what they, what they just finished hours, um, two hours per two hours. And if there is something that is not done uh, at the due time, just put uh, a big triangle in red and, and be sure that you put the effort to catch up uh, that part. Of course, with this organization, it looks like uh, a giant scrum methodology, but it's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's for small projects. It's for projects that have a very tight deadline. Uh, usually we use that in uh, startup weekends, in hackathon, uh, and, uh, and that's really, really effective. I've learned that technique uh, six or seven years ago. And um, last but not least, keep some time blocks free by the end of the week or by the end of the challenge uh, to be sure to catch up what could uh, go wrong. Because obviously, like in any project, there are always some surprise uh, and you might need to move some tasks that were supposed to be done during the week uh, at the end of the project. So keep at least, uh, I would say, 20% uh, free by the end of the project to be sure to uh, to uh, fulfill the what's missing. So I hope it helps. I hope this uh, organization trick can help you if you have a tight deadline soon. Uh, wishing you a great day. And um, yeah, I'm going to see you in the next episode for another topic. Bye for now.